One of the best ways to grow on YouTube is to repurpose your YouTube videos for other social media like Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. But depending on your video, how long ago you edited it, where you edited it, if someone else edited it, it can be really difficult to do this. For instance, say a video has scene changes in it but you don't have the original file of the edit. Here then you may you not be able switches, to exactly tell where and then the different you would just scenes are. You have to go button. through and cut them, which can take a lot of time, and sometimes the frames aren't exactly right. So today I'm gonna show you guys an AI tool that detects scene changes in completed videos for you and will automatically cut in between scenes so that you don't have to do that yourself. It saves a lot of time and it just makes the whole repurposing flow a lot easier. This can be really useful if you don't have the file to the original video anymore or if you're using someone else's video and editing it into a new piece of content or something like that. So go ahead and click the first link in the description and let's get started. Okay, hi guys. So once you click the first link in the description, it'll take you to kapwing.com and then you'll just want to sign in. Okay, so then once you're in your workspace, you're just going to want to create a new project. Now here you can either upload a video that you already have that's already made, or you can paste in a link here to a YouTube video, a TikTok or something else and it will populate there. So I'm uploading a video that I made, but I don't have the original file anymore. And I want it to be in the nine by 16 output size, but it's not exactly centered in the 16 by nine. And I need to crop certain things a little bit smaller, like right here, this gets cut off. This clip is lopsided. I want it to be centered, etc. So what I would usually do, and one option, it just takes a bit more time, is to do it yourself and just find where the clip cuts. So right here, you can see it switches. And then you would just click the split button. And obviously I could recrop, resize um, through this, but this is gonna take a long time, especially if the video is quite long and has a lot of scene changes. Instead, what you can do is just click on the clip or click on the video and then go over to the right and under the AI tools, you'll find a new button called Find Scenes. You'll just wanna go ahead and click that. And then as you can see, it says automatically detect scene changes in your video. The yellow markings show where your video will be split. So as you can see, I have a few splits in the video that it has detected. Let's see if they're correct. So as you can see, that one is correct because I changed scenes from uh, this shot to this shot. These two changes are also correct, it seems. This scene is correct as well. And you can just go through and make sure that everything is in fact a scene change. So this detection tool actually did incredibly well on this video. Um, it did miss a couple of different ones. I think it missed this one right here. So what I can do is change the split sensitivity by using the slider at the bottom left corner. If I drag it down to the left, it will be less sensitive and get rid of some of the splits that it's less sure about. But I'm looking for more splits for it to detect, so I'm gonna keep going forward. There we go. So now it has this split right here. Boom. However, let's say that there is something that it highlights as a split that should not be split. Um, I'm just gonna choose this one as an example. What you can do is you can just click that and it will no longer split. As you can see, it's no longer the yellow tone that it was. Yellow means that it will be split. Um, grayed out means that it won't be. So I can click it again and it will become a split again. You also can drag a split down the timeline just by hovering over it in the middle and getting these little arrows um, and you can move it around like that. And once you're done, you can just go ahead and click the done button. And now you can see that the video is split in all of the different portions uh, where the scene changes. So now I can go through if I need to and individually resize or crop each individual clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So right now, as you can see, I'm just using a mixture of the crop tool as well as resizing the corners just to change the size of things that are being cut out. I'm using the lock ratio button to make sure that they are being sized in the correct ratio that I want it to. So now that I've recropped and resized everything to fit within this new aspect ratio, I can go ahead and click the export project button up in the top right. I'm gonna click export as MP4. And then you can watch your video and make sure that it all looks good. So I can just go ahead and click the download file button. And then you've got your video resized um, from an original video. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and also to keep up with Kapwing and what's new in our program. And I'll see you guys in the next one.